Right, I'll just show you how to make some bricklayers profiles. You all right? I'm going to put you off. No. Are you all right? Um, just going to show you how to make some. You should make them up, really, because let's be honest, you don't want to be gauging your profiles up for the rest of your life. It's wasted, wasted time. You could be laying bricks instead. All you need is um, a metal scribe, a tape, a few F clamps, and a square. That's pretty much all you need. Uh, you can clean your, if you've got old profiles, you can clean them up with a multi tool with the sandpaper attachment. Or you could just get some sandpaper and do it that way. I've been trying to get onto my Amazon account and I can't get onto it. Um, it's fucked. <laughs> so I've got to make up a new Amazon account so I won't be able to do any, any links today. No, you're not an affiliate. I've got to sort that out again. Um, so there won't be any affiliate links today, but I might be able to put some on later on. Why is it every time I do a video? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, right, let's show you how to make some profiles. Right then, all you need scribe metal scribe square tape and i use four clamps because i like to be able to clamp it in place and then i can clamp my profiles to the one that i've already scored scribed whatever you want to say um You can just do it with two two F clamps and do it on the floor, but it's, it wants to move on the floor. So ideally, you want something you can clamp to. If not, you just have to do it on the floor. Um, I'm gonna clean these up. Uh, obviously, I don't need to use the tape because I've already scored all mine up. You'll need a tape if you haven't done any. Uh, and that is basically all you need. Um, I clean my profiles up with a multi-tool, grinder, uh, it's just an attachment. Uh, I get through them quite quick to be honest, but it does bring them up nice. Right, let's show you how I do it. As well, see like pen marks that you can't get off. Yeah, comes off easy with this. You do have a little bit of a, you can sort of see where it's grinded it off. But that doesn't bother me personally. I'm so, I reckon you probably need a finer grit if you don't want to have any grit marks on it. But it brings it up lovely, I think. Yeah, you know, this side of just this little section I've just done here. I suppose you could just use sandpaper, like a fine grit sandpaper.
then few more marks along here. clean profile well one side anyway right I'll just get one out that I've already marked all right here's one that I've previously done oh get in there it does need going over again it's getting a bit warm But yeah, you can get the picture. I've got a couple of F-clamps just to hold it in place. I'm gonna get another couple more F-clamps. Obviously, you can do this with as many as you want. All right, I'm just gonna get the bits I need. All right, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so it's a bit dodge, but... So, if you haven't got one already marked, you need a tape. Now, I'm trying to get this so I can see what I'm fucking doing right here. You just want to do a little, you don't want to dig it in too hard. 75. Just enough so you can see it. 225. 300. Then you can go back. This is so awkward. I did have a stand to try and do this video, but. So we've got 75. It's there. Can't do it with one hand. Um, yeah, I'll just do a couple anyway. And there you have it. That was that's probably five hard scribes. Oh, so there was my old mark where I've sand where I've got, cleaned them up a few times. It just takes it away slightly, but yeah, you get the picture. And there, because it's so thin as well, it gives you a really good point to go from. Well, I'll just get this one done.